Hey everyone, Chef Andrew here from North Coast Seafoods. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're making one of the most popular dishes, not just in the United States, but the world. That's right, tacos. Pair this world-renowned dish with the most popular fish on the planet, and you have our menu for today. It's wild salmon tacos with all the fixings. We'll be using wild sockeye salmon, but really any fish will do your favorite. So are we ready to join in and have some grilled tacos? Let's do this. So our ingredient list is very simple today. Your favorite soft tortillas, a one pound portion of wild salmon, taco seasoning, and the classic fixings. Guacamole, salsa fresca, arugula, cilantro, sour cream, and lime wedges. Today, we're using wild Alaskan sockeye salmon, skin on. Brush your filet with a coating of canola oil and cover it with a healthy dose of your favorite taco seasoning. I like to press the spices into the salmon a bit for good measure. Stop the tape. Many people avoid grilling fish because they're scared it will stick to the grill. A fair concern for sure. My answer for that is to use a grill mat. A genius invention which prevents any stickage and keeps your fish intact. If you don't have a grill mat, be sure to clean your grill very well, spray it generously with oil, and cook your fish indirectly. Lay your fish down, spice side first, brush your skin side with more oil, and cook for four to five minutes, or until the spices have developed a beautiful brown color. With a wide spatula, flip your fish. Oh, baby, I think we need to see that again. Truly, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's cook for another four to five minutes. Now, how do you know when it's done? If you can lightly push the end of a wooden skewer through the fish with no resistance, it's done cooking. If you feel resistance, let it cook for another minute or so. Time to remove your fish from the grill. Allow it to rest while you're preparing your tortillas. Let's char these directly on the grill so they develop some crunchy nooks and crannies but are still pliable. Now, let's flake our fish. Using two forks, simply pull and push the salmon apart into large flakes, as you can see me doing here. Whoops, dropped a piece there. Five second rule applies. Moment of truth, time to assemble. Use your chefiest smear of guacamole a few sprigs of baby arugula. Now the star, your flaked grilled salmon. I love seeing a perfect taco plan come together. The key to a great taco is do not overload it with toppings. Keep that in mind as you add your salsa fresca, a squiggly do of sour cream to make it look pretty, and some fresh cilantro leaves to keep it authentic. Squeeze some fresh lime juice for the finishing touch. You have to agree, there's a beauty in food simplicity, especially when cooking with seafood, and there's nothing quite like some outdoor grilling. So now you know it doesn't have to be Tuesday to make some mean fish tacos. This will be a hit every time you serve them and can be customized with different toppings and sauces. I bet no one ever told you tacos would be health food. Who knew? But now, there's nothing left to do but to pour the wine, set the patio table, and enjoy your seafood supper. Cheers to you.